Okay, hello, students. Uh, we're going to be doing um, the <clears throat> grasping a concept uh, left side activity. I'm just using a piece of printer paper, but you are more than welcome to use, um, just literally do this directly, do this directly onto your, uh, your notebook. You don't actually have to do it on a separate sheet of paper. Uh, feel free, I'm going to see if I can't raise this up just a little bit. Make it easier for you. So feel free to do this directly on the left side. I'm going to be referring to the instructions that you should have digitally in its learning. Um, so I'm going to be basically following each one of these uh, pieces of instruction one at a time. So please feel free to do the exact same thing that I'm doing. Um, I've got my uh, markers here to do this. Um, to make it a little bit darker, you're welcome to use colored pencils or even, uh, quite honestly, colored pens. Um, I'm doing the markers because I think it shows up better on the screen. And since so this is fairly uh, broad overall. So, fairly easy. So, we're going to follow these. I can describe weather caused by each uh, type of front or pressure system. Uh, I'm going to imagine my little hand with five digits around the palm. So that's, oh wait, there, I don't even have to imagine it. It's right here. Look at it, so pretty. The palm is where the main concept will go. Each finger will have one characteristic of uh, the main concept. And the thumb, because it moves in opposition, will have the opposite or a uh, opposing concept. So, like, if I did warm front, I'd probably put cold front on the thumb. If I did, uh, if I did a high pressure system in the palm, I'd do low pressure system on the thumb. Um, I know there's not really an opposite to occluded and stationary front. So, quite honestly, if you choose to put occluded or stationary front in the palm, you're welcome to do any uh, one of the other types of fronts as its opposite or as a, a difference. So, first set of instructions states to trace my non-writing hand onto my left side page. So, here's my non-writing hand. I'm going to spread it out as much as I possibly can. And, like I said, I'm using my marker to trace my hand. This is going to be probably the best looking hand trace out of all of yours. Because I've got beautiful hands. I should probably have been a hand model. Oh, look at that. That is so much more pretty than any of your uh, little sausage finger hands. So, um, I know some of you freaks are probably going to be tracing your left hand. So, I traced my right hand. So, obviously, that's the correct hand to trace uh, by its own name. So, good to go for there. Second, in the palm area... Write one concept from today's notes and make a simple multicolored sketch. Now, here's the thing. You guys are learning about cold fronts and warm fronts and occluded fronts and stationary fronts and then also high and low pressure systems. And because I don't want you just copying mine, um, I'm going to do... I'm going to demonstrate or do this as an example uh, for a completely unrelated concept to what you guys are studying. So you don't have to worry about me stealing your warm fronts or cold fronts or anything like that um, for this. So I've traced my hand, as you can see. Uh, next, it says to, in the palm area, write one concept from today's notes and make a simple multicolored sketch to represent it. So, since, like I said, I'm not doing uh, today's notes, I, I'm going to do some other concept. So, I'm going to use the uh, concept that we've already studied, or that we actually have not yet studied. Um, I'm going to use um, some different types of breezes. So, this is my land breeze. One of the subjects we'll be probably studying next week. So land breeze. <clears throat> land breezes always uh, occur at night. So I'm going to make my little uh, 
crescent moon up in the sky and a land breeze blows from a seashore so my little sketch here I'm gonna make a little palm tree with coconuts and it's gonna be right here sitting on the beach and the beach is going to lead into the ocean Got my little ocean waves here okay. and the land breeze is going to be the cool air from the land flowing out to sea and the warm air over the ocean rising and flowing back towards the land and again this happens at night so I've got my little moon up here uh, above that so that's what I've created the uh, second uh, or the third bullet says on each finger write one fact related to the concept on the palm so I can write these are night breezes Uh, cool air is drawn offshore, a little bit beyond the finger, that's okay. It, warm air rises over the sea, breeze blows from land to sea. So I've gotten all of that done, nicely done. So again, you guys are doing yours about uh, warm fronts or cold fronts, occluded fronts, stationary fronts, or one of the um, other uh, pressure systems, high and low pressure systems. So this is what I've got so far. At the end of each finger, include a simple multicolored sketch. Multicolored sketch representing the fact on the finger. So um, a night breeze is, I'm going to put, I'll get a, a little bit of a, I'm going to put my crescent moon up here again. Okay. Okay. Creating little windy breezes. Okay. They don't have to be super detailed. I'm going to draw, uh, well, it says that there's uh, it's cool air. So I'm going to draw a thermometer. Except it's not going to be very full with red. Since it's cool air. warm air over the sea so maybe I uh, make some waves and have some little heat waves raising out of it We put arrows on it so it shows that it's rising. Breeze blows from land to sea. So I can draw a little bit of land. 
put some vegetation on it, maybe a little bit of a little pretty flower right there. Another little pretty flower. And then I seem to need to have the ocean right here. It blows from land to sea. So I've got that nicely done. Okay. The thumb opposes the finger. Next bullet. So the thumb should have a related but opposite concept or fact with a multicolored sketch. So here's my thumb right here. And so the other one is the opposite one of a land breeze is a sea breeze. And just to show you, uh, they blow from sea to land during the day. So I've shown why they are different or opposites from each other. And now, I wanted to, since this one's similar and I do have to have another... Uh, Drawing. I'll make my little palm tree again. Since I'm here. Make my little ocean. And this is cool air blowing from over the sea to the land. This is warm air is rising over the land and blowing out to sea. And this all happens during the day. So there's my happy little sun. It makes it so pretty. And then the last thing I need to do is below the hand or maybe on the line paper or the next left side, since I've got a hand that takes up most of the page, write a one paragraph explanation of how all the finger facts fit together with the concept in the palm, and then explain why or how the thumb is the opposite or different from the concepts in the palm. So that is your challenge for today. Uh, I am sure that you will be able to handle it. Remember, you're not doing anything about sea breezes and land breezes. Yours will be about fronts or pressure systems. So it's up to you to choose which ones you'd like to do. Good luck.